hi guys welcome back to path of enlightenment tarot i am nicole for those of you who are new and to those of you returning welcome back i know it's been a minute guys i have um dealt with a horrible sinus thing for a hot minute and then my birthday rolled around and all these other things were going on so i took a bit of a hiatus and i apologize if i left you all hanging um bear with me i'm human <laughs> i have a lot going on so um i want to get back to the daily collective readings for you guys and then hopefully get some other stuff out october was a crazy month everything or everyone i talked to said the same thing so this uh message today will be for the daily collective today is november 2nd wednesday november yeah wednesday november 2nd so um i hope you guys had a fantastic hollow's eve hope you got the messages from spirit and the divine that you needed to get and those that are past are on the other side so all right let's see what's going on for you guys today um spirit's saying energies are interchangeable so make sure that you know you put that in the back of your mind as well um there's a reason they're giving me that right off the bat so um, you may be dealing with somebody or something to that effect that these messages may resonate for. So for Wednesday, November 2nd Spirit, what does the collective need to know? Wednesday, November 2nd Spirit. Hope you guys are doing well. Divine Feminine and Prosperity. I do feel like lately, um, you know, I feel like male, female, you know, whatever. You know, we it's their, gender is not really a thing, but... At the same time, I do feel like people who are stepping into their divine masculine energy, particularly females in general, I feel like the roles are starting to switch back up and we're stepping back into a more feminine energy. Um, it's like we had to go into boss mode for a while and now it's like, okay, let's get back to nurturing the things that we've worked on. So you may have been, uh, whether it was business, love, life in general, um, felt the need to kind of boss up, if you will, uh, you know, get those creative endeavors going. And now you're in a space of beginning to nurture the things that you've worked for. So um, pay attention to that. All right, I'm gonna, oh, there's three of them. We'll take all three of them. So crown chakra, and this is the sacred geometry deck, guys. Uh, seven, the crown chakra, the frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of like the Mars energy, you know, we're sitting in Mars retrograde right now. Um, and it can bring a lot to the surface of negative energy, a lot of stress, a lot of, you know, anger, aggression, depending on your sign. Um, to me, you know, right now is a great time. If you're feeling some negative energy, sit with that emotion, understand where it's coming from, why do the reflection of the situation, um, and of the feelings that are coming up around you at this time, you know, when we transmute that negative energy, we are, in a much better place to receive divine messages. I know that for me too has been a thing as well. Uh, 31 magic, the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are so grand and profound as we, as, as grand and as profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. Um, you know, this may, this Mars retrograde too is also about a time of, um, reorganizing our thoughts, reorganizing our life around us right now as well. You know, retrograde is the reese, right? Always, um, but it all depends on what's in retrograde as well as, um, you know, our sign, all the things that line up accordingly. So, um, you know, it's putting faith. Maybe you're dealing with some slower moving energies right now and that's okay, but to imagine, believe, and to create uh, equates to magic at the end of the day, right? So then dynamic, the frequency of dynamics supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. And again, they're then breaking down to a five. Um, you know, as we shed old parts of ourselves, these new parts come in and they can be kind of scary. We can sit in some fear, um, but also know that we're able to learn those lessons of the past and move forward in that more positive dynamic of understanding the, the new us that is being created through these, these changes. So let's, uh, let's get one of these and then pull a couple of cards. 
for some of you guys too, you may be dealing with different, when we talk about different layers, different situations, uh, where you might be feeling like you're pulled in between different ways um, and trying to find a way to integrate three various aspects of life. And the three stands out to me very significantly. Uh, wisdom of the house of the night oracle, uh, love. Love comes out, it's 10, it's a completion, it's beginning anew. Underneath that we have wishing. Um, so you may be in a place where things have felt a little heavy, a little exhausting. Again, I talked about stepping into that divine feminine energy of loving and nurturing, caring for things. You may be in a space right now of protecting the heart space, but also know that something from that nourishment of the self is also coming to light moving forward for you. Um, protecting it, wanting to give it, packaging it, um, allowing love to flow through these situations that you are tenderly caring for is how it comes across from spirit. Very gentle, very gentle energy in that. So make sure that um, as you're doing this, it's like you're you're not willing to just give it away anymore. You're not willing to just give it to anybody. Like I've worked very hard on this, this space of me, whether it's relationships, whether it's family, whether it's our children, it's our work, it's whatever. Um, finding what speaks to your soul, where you truly have that emotional pull to give and asking yourself if the situations around you are worthy of what you have to offer this time. So... <clears throat> excuse me still a little bit of a lingering thing right all right so let's see here spirit loves the collective need to know for today your fourth chakra again a lot of loving energy a lot of caring nurturing tendering uh the thinking man thinking about how you want to address things again moving forward this is a very very specific dynamic so this message may not and then doors to romance that love space right love 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 we want to give love we want to be loved um, door to romance, door to value. Give me one more spirit, please. One more. I say one more spirit, and they give me the door to spirit. So there you go. Um, we have 33, 31, 32. Specifically, it tells me too in regards to that. Um, and then we've got 51, healer of the ages underneath there. Store to romance, store to value, door to spirit. These numbers, I would say, if you're 31, 32, 33, very much pay attention these three particular cards came rolling out as they did um also this is also a marker of that th that three again to me that three and but also it's explaining a three-year period three 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 again um and then you've got six four six four and five also when you break them down um to me this is very much understanding where to where your love, what you're giving, where it's going, where it's valued, um, and trusting in divine fate. Fate to me is coming across very significantly here with that door to spirit. Um, again, learning where to make those investments of the energetic heart space. Again, it doesn't matter about the relationship status of who the dynamic is with. You know, we we love our jobs, we love our children, we love our family, we love our partners. We we you know we love just being out in nature as well. Make sure that you're grounding that energy, that you're not just throwing it, to, you know, throwing it away. Like, I feel like you understand, like, where the investment needs to be made into where this is going, why it needs to go, where it's going. Um, for some of you, I'm also hearing willing to take the risk. So you may be gauging um, where you want to put that at. You may be finding yourself holding it back a little bit, but also understanding that I feel like you're also in a space right now of filling your own cup, too. Um, knowing that the right thing will come along in the right time. What I find to be very interesting is the magic card is 31. The door to value card is also 31. So you've got double energy there. And then this dynamic and door to spirit, 23 and 32 mirroring energies as well, which, you know, the synchronicities are always there. It's beautiful. For some of you, I'm also hearing a new romantic partner maybe coming in as well at this time. Um, so, you know, you're going to learn, you're going to know where you need to nurture things accordingly so let's do some clarifying it feels good to see these like this after me taking my hiatus <laughs> so I'm like oh this is a good reading I'm liking this for everybody all right spirit collective what do they need to know and I feel like through this too like you're opening up to it spirit is saying a new calling a new understanding maybe getting out there again working with the people, bringing in the people community-wise that are supportive and loving, caring of you in the way that you need to be. It is creating a balanced energy for you as well as for those folks as, as well. 
So we've got the Son of Cups and the Father of Swords, Door to Romance. Yeah, yeah you realize where your where your cup wasn't being fulfilled in the past. You're willing to wanting to give that cup, um, knowing like, it's almost like where you may have had love relationships in the past. Um, you've learned how to slow that down. That 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 Son of Cups is a slower moving energy being logical about the decisions that you're making and who you're giving that emotional energy to, recognizing that you're going to have to find a mix of the head and the heart. I also want to say don't get so far in your head that you're overthinking things with that moon energy. Um, I feel like for some of you too, Spirit is saying that you may not understand another person's intentions at this time, where they fit into your life. Let it play out, be discerning, be, be in a space of compassion and love regardless. Always, you know, we're universal love, we're to give love, receive love. Um, always come from that loving space, but in the same space, if you also feel like you're not sure of another person's intentions, give it time, you know, slow that energy down, feel it out. I also feel like for a lot of you, you're learning again. You know, if you've had relationships in the past that weren't beneficial to you in the long run, you've learned a lot of lessons. You know, this King of Swords, or father of swords in this particular deck he's he's gained a lot of wisdom he's gained a lot of insight he's all knowing he's all seeing he's fully aware he pays attention he's very logical about the decisions that he has to make um but you're learning to slow down giving that love away it's not feed in first approach it's changing the dynamic around you and going the right thing is going to come along at the right time and i don't have to push forward in that so door to value clarify i would say hone back on the finances you may also be be um trying to balance out some financial aspects at this time too um learning where to not throw money away at is how spirit is addressing this so this this love isn't just about the love you know in the romance sense uh, it's also about um you know knowing where to nurture all aspects of your life i really like this so you've got the empress the star and the father of pentacles clarifying this door to value understand that any investment that you're making any new ventures that you're making at this time slow pace again though i'm getting this idea of the needing to be slow with that father of pentacles taking your time to create your stability um in regards to your financial aspects you have all the tools that you need to create this new this new venture you're giving birth you know the empress she gives birth she gives fertility she gives life she is totally abundant in all areas of life you know sexually you know in her looks and her beauty and her and her decisions and her you know new beginnings of life she 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 bears the fruit of all things right and the star is our ultimate wish fulfillment you know or ultimate wish fulfillment, I can't even talk today, um, knowing you you really do, I think, have a very keen idea of what stability means to you, how to nurture that, how to ground yourself in that. This energy here, if you're making investments into yourself, if you're learning how to hone in on your finances and make some financial changes at this time, you know that the long recourse to this is it's going to be very beneficial for you moving forward. Again, another beautiful energy. I really like it. Like you are you're maturing and for some of you may be seeing even the, the, despite the recession aspect that we're in right now you may be cer seeing certain things that you had worked on before maturing for you so investments it could be investments in love it could be investments in your finances it can be investment in your home where i do feel like you're at a space where you can sit back and look at the things around you and be very content uh, with where you are and also learning to hone back in areas that weren't so serving of you knowing what you now need to nurture as opposed to what you were nurturing before that maybe did not work out for a while. So then let's clarify this door to spirit. I'm really enjoying this reading for you guys. Very nice. Spirit is saying peace is at hand. So if you've been dealing with some conflicts with that five there, um, maybe some deceit, some lies, deception, peace is at hand. Hang me and hold on. It's time to see things in a different perspective always. Um, you know, when we get to that, that place, I feel like you're trying to find some balance through the conflicts that surround you or you're watching these conflicts go down. Um, spirit is on your side. I've got chills as I say that. Stay out of your head. You got the eight of swords there. Um, right now, you may be having a hard time finding a way out of a situation. You got the mother of pentacles. You get a divine pairing here uh, also in the underlying energies. Um, so you're, to me, you're being very, very supported in your in, in the realm of 
you know, your home, your stability, the abundance that you carry forward, the son of wands. You may be dealing with somebody who's a little bit sly, a little bit slick, trying to manipulate some energies that are around you. But I want to just tell you, you are guided. You are being protected. You've got that, that dove there on the card. It's coming in to your aid at this time. So if you feel like you're dealing with somebody who's kind of playing some games or being manipulative about things, um, that son of wands to me, sometimes he's, he's you know, the olive branch other times he's a, a slithering sob and that's kind of what i'm getting with this with this eight of swords it is putting you in um this mental prison basically right like you're feeling trapped you're feeling stuck you feel like you're maybe not gaining any growth at this time but i think that there's more behind the scenes that is happening for you that maybe you cannot see at this time that will come in and create a space of freedom in this so just really be discerning that this whoever it is that you're dealing with the situation that you're dealing with um they're trying to make it more difficult for you but i also think that you recognize there's other choices there's another way of doing things uh and you as long as you stay out of that headspace and have some clarity around you um you know keeping that mind at ease spirit's going to come in and provide you the information that you need and i do believe for some of you too depending on what you're dealing with um there's a there's a very there's a piece of the puzzle that's kind of like right in front of your face you may not see it yet make sure you're paying attention uh to the messages that you're receiving via spirit make sure that you're giving a focus to detail give attention you know to detail right now um i think that's going to be very important to create some further abundance where whatever this situation is it's creating some internal conflict for you um, spirit is saying the wheel is turning it was weird they kind of gave me a message and then it kind of went away as they gave me that second message it was kind of like overload for me um, but the moral of what they were getting at is this isn't going whatever the situation is it's not going to last there's there's some divine divine guidance there you know, a snake is always a snake, no matter no matter how many times it sheds its skin, right? So, pay attention to that. To me, the way this this feels coming through is very important. Um, they can they may be in a space where they can change personalities uh, at any given moment, um, but a person if you're dealing with a person that is like that. Um, they'll show their self. You don't have to do much. Like, let them, they will always beat themselves at their own game. If they're doing shady shit, um, they might be able to uh, play that for a little while. But uh, those that are paying attention to that detail are going to see that there's a little more behind the scenes than what uh, what is maybe being led to believe at this time. So, to me, that's a very important and discerning message right there. So uh, if you feel like you're at friction with somebody, they've got support in their corner. Um, there are eyes that are wide open to their behavior. Uh, and they're starting to see a pattern of manipulating factors that uh, they know they're making it. They're trying to make the situation harder for you, uh, but they're not being authentic to who to who they are. So I'm actually going to use the white light oracle. I usually don't do the books. I was always taught you don't need the book, you throw the damn book away, but I may read a little bit out of it. So let's see, just a different message here for you guys. What do you guys, all right. Shuffle these, get you one more card. We'll wrap this up, get it uploaded. also saying they're just an opportunist don't give them the opportunity don't give them the opportunity to play the games that they're playing or making the attempts to play at this time um it's funny when i dropped the cards here a few seconds ago 
this card came out and I put it back in the deck and it came back out again. And it's Sacrament of Extreme Unction, number 34. Again, you've got 31, 32, 33, and 34. Very, to me, for whatever reason, these are very significant numbers. Uh, you may be going through some state of ascension as well at this time. So you got four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't know why it's very important. So to me, this is about speaking. Um, and we'll read, the, we'll read the book here in a second. But very much about speaking, being at... I almost feel like you're in a womb space right now that you're growing, you're nurturing. Uh, you know, when when we're pregnant, you know, our womb is what protects our unborn child. It is what nurtures our unborn child. It is what keeps them safe. Um, they feel comfortable. They feel a sense of um, protection around them. But I also feel like through this, you're gaining insight and wisdom to things outside of yourself through the higher realms of the divine. You may be asking for some clarity and understanding. Prayers may be, may be finding that certain prayers are being answered at this time, 333 are answered prayers. Um, learning to speak, learning to clear the, the throat chakra as well. So you've been dealing with illness and things like that. You maybe feel like you're starting to get some relief. Things are starting to open up for you. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of energy pulling, pulling to the divine space as well at this time. So let's see, let's see what this says and see how these go hand in hand. Um, your heart knows how to let go so you can find peace. And I talked about that peace. You may be finding peace right there. It is. It is time for you to experience spiritual closure. A beautiful new reality is opening up for you. Entering it requires you to release your attachment to the past. You have been inwardly preparing for a powerful rebirth. We talked about that womb, right? Now is the time to trust in what is meant for you and move toward it with an open, trusting heart and peaceful mind. Again, staying out of that Eight of Swords energy, right? Uh, so I'll read a little bit of this to you. Uh, an ideal world, we would finish our inner work, be completely healed, check it off the list, and move on without any issues from the past intruding into our present life. In a more realistic view, we do our best to muddle through, gaining enough understanding and healing to attain some degree of closure and move on as best as we can, flickering off remnants of the past which can arise even while, whilst we are doing our best to let go. In an even more challenging turn of growth spiral, we may know something has run its course and no longer belongs in our world and yet have trouble exercising the past and its pain, confusions or attachments so it bleeds through into the present, even though we know it doesn't belong there. To avoid the taint of the past causing unnecessary issues in the present, the oracle of the sacrament of extreme unction brings powerful spiritual last rites so you can be cleansed and liberated into the fullness of your next phase. In the Catholic tradition, extreme unction is performed at the time of physical passing to cleanse the soul and allow it to gracefully leave the body and enter the afterlife. In the context of this oracle, the symbolic equivalent of the sacrament is the powerful intervention of spirit to free you from the grip of what has been. It is a liberation from habit and compelling the, or the compelling lore of the familiar. It is divine forgiveness and healing. Extreme unction translates into last anointing. Whilst spiritual grace will be with you always and a blessing is always available to the receptive heart, this oracle wishes to bring your attention the ending of a particularly stubborn pattern. As it does, you will feel greater freedom with a new lease on life as if you were born again within this lifetime. It augurs significant and permanent healing release. Spirit also gave me during that, that with this rebirth, something that has maybe plagued you for the last couple of years is going to come to that particular cycle of that situation is going to come to a complete close. I feel like you're going to get um, some new footing and new bearings moving forward with the past. Uh, as the expression goes, every saint has a past and every sinner, oops, skip your page, every sinner, oh shit, what did I do? There we go, has a future. This oracle encourage, encourages you to embrace your future and let go of the emotional and psychological burdens you have been carrying for yourself and likely for many others, ancestors and more for far too long. Sometimes we martyr ourselves to the pain of the past or even attempt to carry the suffering of others, holding it within our hearts as if we can alleviate that burden of another or create healing. All that happens in such instances is that the suffering increases. Let yourself off the hook of guilt, shame, or blame. Give yourself permission to acknowledge that all people, including you, have done their best. The universe is offering you a powerful spiritual gift. Your heart knows how to receive it. 
let go. There is no turning back. It's time to start anew. It is time to be happy and free. And I just want to show these, you know, we talked about that space, that freedom, that love, right? Like there, these two cards to me are so open, so very open and beautiful. So, all right, guys, I hope this provided some insight and wisdom to you. I thought that was a beautiful message. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm digging it. Good, 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 good. All right, guys, if you found this video resonates for you, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. It's going to give you notifications uh, each time a video gets posted. So make sure you hit that bell. That bell is the thing that, that does the trick, I guess. Uh, so I'm wishing you guys a wonderful Wednesday. Happy hump day. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.